So in this video, I am going to press this image onto a previously bleached shirt. The shirt is uh, 6040. It was provided by the customer. These are her images that she picked out from online. It's for a Girl Scout troop or something. Um, I've pre-pressed this. I have it on light pressure and I do have a pressing pillow inside of here. Um, instead of measuring my length down, I typically just put three fingers here and that's usually where I would put it. So three to four fingers is average from your neckline on where you want to put your image. Um, and if you look at your tag, typically those are centered so you can see where you are for your center, but you can base it based on where you are on the sides. Um, so I tear my images typically on my shirts just so I can try to eliminate any of the super sharp lines that you get. Um, if you have too much pressure on your press. So we'll see if I have lowered the pressure enough so I don't have any issues with um, the lines. So I am going to use my heat tape and I'm going to tape it down really well so I don't have any ghosting since I really don't want to have to replace these shirts since they were provided to me by the customer. So I'm going to tape it down well. This is blue um, heat tape that I purchased in a four pack off of Amazon. So far I like it for the t-shirts and doormats and such. I don't really particularly like it for the uh, tumblers when I do them in the mug press since it doesn't seem to stretch as well as the blue or the brown. So what I'm going to do is take a piece of butcher paper and I'm going to put butcher paper over it. Um, push my bottom platen in and I'm going to press this. I have my heat press set at 390 degrees for 50 seconds with a light pressure. Okay, so we are done. We're going to check it and see how it looks. You can see obviously some of it came out on the wall paper. And I pull my image right away. So you can see um, the image transferred pretty well. If you have a line, which I don't, um, but if you end up having a line, you can go over it right away when it's hot with a lint roller to see if that pulls up some of your um, line. I've noticed that the lines do not come out when you wash them. So this one looks pretty good. Like I said, I use a pressing pillow that I got on Amazon. I have them in five different sizes. Um, I use them for garden flags, sleeves, that sort of thing. Um, they are Teflon coated, but it doesn't seem to bother the sublimation like some other Teflon does. So other than that, the image is good. This is a youth large shirt. Um, the image is about nine and a half inches. Um, and like I said, this is for a Girl Scout troop. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I use Hippo Brand Ink from Amazon. Um, I used uh, a sub 120 paper for this. And my press is a 15 by 15 5-in-1 I purchased on eBay. Thanks.